Hi guys, Mary here. Um, I hope that you guys had a great day yesterday. Yesterday was the solstice, uh, the 21st of June. Today is the 22nd of June. Yesterday I spent the day uh, really soaking in the sun, soaking in those light codes, and um, just doing a lot of healing work. I haven't done a video in a while because I've been going through my own purging lots of purging and um, right now the energies are asking us to really um, look where there are blocks in the three lower chakras so you have um, so you have the the um, three lower chakras, your root chakra, the sacral, and the solar plexus. Oops, I see that you can't see that. Sorry about that. Okay. So we have these three lower chakras that the energies are helping us to clear out because we will, we will be combining these three chakras and moving them up into the higher chakras. So the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. So if you have any trauma or anything that you haven't dealt with in your life or even past lives, the energies that are coming into the planet are, are asking us or they're helping to purge this stuff that maybe we um, swept under the rug and didn't deal with. Now I've been doing inner work for the last four years and believe me I thought that I had dealt with a lot of trauma and issues but for the last two weeks, specifically last week, um, some stuff really came out <laughs> that I had to deal with and it was very uncomfortable. It's not comfortable, this is not easy work, it's difficult because our ego wants us to sweep this under the rug. Now, I'm an addict, I'm an alcoholic, you guys know that, and um, the way that I would sweep things un under the rug was by drinking. So I'd have a glass of wine and then, oh, I don't have to deal with that, right? Um, for you, it could be eating, overeating, shopping, gambling. Um, there's many ways of avoiding things that we don't want to deal with, things that are painful. But in order to integrate our higher self, you know, into basically our higher self is being integrated and we need to clear those energies from the three lower chakras, the root chakra, which is all about safety and security, our sacral chakra, which is all about creation, and our solar plexus, which is all about, it's our gut feeling, our intuition. Those are all being cleared right now. So you, you need to look at things that maybe you thought you dealt with many, many years ago. Um, things that you swept under the rug, maybe through addictions, uh, maybe through uh, avoidance patterns. But I was clearly going through a, a heavy purging of things that I thought I dealt with and I didn't. Now, um, for me, because I was having this discomfort um, and I just lost my, my sponsor, and I just, and who is also my best friend, and it's been very painful, and I was spiraling into total fear, fear that I would drink again. Um, and you know, sometimes we just spiral down, right? But... Um, I had to, first of all, I had to surrender. I had to pray for help. I prayed. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie, I was in crisis, you know, and this channel um, is all about authenticity. And so I feel like when I share my experiences, maybe I can help someone else. So I was in crisis mode. I was praying for guidance. I was praying for help. I was like, God, I can't do this by myself. And after I did that prayer, 
I came home and I was nudged to call certain people. I was nudged to email certain people. Um, friends and family came to my aid with assistance. Um, some of them had new people in the program who called me. Um, I reached out to a friend who called someone on the main island who was in the program and I am meeting a new sponsor today. I'm going to fly over to San Juan. I'm going to meet my new sponsor. I'm going to go to some big meetings there kind of to get a new shot in the arm of the program for me. And I was also guided to reach out to people that maybe I ordinarily wouldn't have. Um, a person in particular who really helped me by um, just showing me that I was allowing fear to bring me down into 3D and that I needed to bring in the light. So um, it sounds so simple, right? That you know, you're spiraling into fear, oh my gosh, I'm going to drink again. And that fear was just feeding more fear and I was just going down, down into this darkness. And all I needed to do was bring in the light, you know. So that's what I did. Um, she did a healing for me. It was amazing. Um, but also it was up to me to bring in the light and see it from a higher perspective, what was going on. I was being tested. My faith was being tested. Um, I feel like I'm a bright light on the planet. And sometimes the darkness will come in and try to snuff out your bright light. And I was allowing that to happen through fear. So it's really a choice right now. It's a choice. We're at that time. This is a very important time where we're choosing between 3D and 5D. Between fear or love. Between being up in your head and living through your heart. Um, dark versus light. It's all the same thing. So um, I know that I need to um, go into my heart and bring in the light and that has helped me to purge these three lower chakras so that I can bring in the new light that's coming in um, it, with these um, um, with the solar um, I, don't, I forget what I was, oh, the eclipses that are coming in. It's eclipse season coming uh, in July, and I feel like there's energies that will be coming in in August. For some reason, I'm getting the number eight frequently. So August um, and into the fall. So if you're watching this channel, you're a light, you're a light worker, and you may be asked to purge some feelings that you're not used to dealing with or that you thought you dealt with, they're going to come on. If they came to me, I just know that they're going to be coming to you and I just want to to let you know that this may happen. And just being aware of it can help you because you can you can say, ooh, I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable, I'm feeling these emotions, I'm not going to sweep them under the rug, I'm going to feel them so I can heal them and let them go and really clear those lower chakras so that they can come together and move up so that we can bring in this light, bring in the light and integrate our higher selves. That's what this is all about. Um, that's what I believe anyway. <laughs> so um, I hope that my sharing this with you is helpful. Um, I'm feeling much better, much lighter. Um, I feel good so um, I just hope that this helps you in some way okay so before I go I thought I'd do a reading for you Let's see here um, well let's pull one card from spirit for today and then I was thinking of doing a reading on the the DR um, vacationers who are um, getting sick or dying so I thought I'd just read on that for curiosity's sake. <laughs> um, but let's just ask Spirit to come through. Heavenly Angels, please show us any guidance for today. Today is June 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, okay. This is interesting. I love spirit because it's clean it up. And <laughs> the woman that I spoke with who was so incredibly helpful to me, and I believe spirit was speaking through her, um, she told me to clean up my space. So um, a couple of days I kind of was basically wallowing in self-pity, just trying to get myself together. and. Um, my bedroom got kind of messy. I had a big pile of laundry that was just like building up. And she said, you've got to clean up your space. So um, I did, I did the laundry. Actually, I was feeling so down and depressed. My husband did the laundry for me. Um, sometimes we have to reach out for help. You know, we have to tell people, I'm not feeling so great, I need help. And that's when friends, family, loved ones can come in and help you. Anyway, he did the laundry for me. I cleaned up my room, I cleaned up the house, I cleaned up the space, and that helped to freshen things up. I also saged, I saged everything, I cleaned everything um, with sage, also with sound, I used my um, sound bell that I use. Um, you can use a singing bowl. Um, whatever it is that you need to do to clean your space from any energies that may be darker, um, Spirit is asking us to uh, clean up those areas, uh, do some spring cleaning, clean up your closet, clean your bathroom, whatever it is for you that can really help, you know? And it's like you're taking a step towards helping yourself, so that's really good stuff. Ah, Spirit is saying we're at a fork in the road. Yes, we are at a fork in the road. This is the time. The fork is that fork of choice between 3D and 5D. It's that fork in the road of choice between um, fear or love. We're really being asked to make this choice. You know, when we're in our fear or we're in that ego space, um, it's comfortable because we know it. Even though it doesn't feel good, it's comfortable. We can stay there because it's comfortable and, and people don't like change. Um, but we're being asked to purge that stuff from our childhood, maybe from past lives, traumatic events, whatever it is. I had memories come up that I had completely forgotten about. So I had to really purge through that. Um, don't drink. <laughs> don't overeat. Don't go into what you normally would do to soothe but have other tools at your disposal for self-soothing. Those tools could be meditation, contemplation. It could be reaching out to a friend and just going out for coffee or tea. Um, it could be going for a walk in nature. Those are all tools that you can use other than sweeping it under the rug. So we are being asked to choose between 3D and 5D. This is the time, the time is now. So um, thank you, Spirit, for that message because um, that's what I was totally feeling. <laughs> okay, um, so let me read just for a little fun. Also, I've been curious, you know, I live on this small island of Calabria in Puerto Rico, and all of our income is based on tourism. So I'm feeling pretty bad for the people in the DR, the Dominican Republic who um, are going through, um, you know, they're really being hit uh, on tourism because of these deaths. And I'm just curious, you know, what's happening here? Are these deaths uh, really, um, is it a coincidence? Or are they, um, this card just popped out. This is the Eight of Swords. This is like being in a prison of your own mind. So are these deaths um, intertwined? Is it just one person trying to do this? Or is it um, someone that's targeting North Americans? What's going on in the DR? So that's what we want to ask Spirit. So Spirit, please show us. What is going on in the Dominican Republic? Are these deaths from one person, one thing? What's happening? 
Are they related? That's the question. So are these deaths related? And we have the Hermit. So, so, so far we have the Eight of Swords, which is, it's thought, it's words, it's things in your head, ideas. Um, but sometimes we can get trapped in those ideas. And then it's the Hermit. And I specifically asked if these deaths were related, and we have the Hermit card. So the Hermit is someone who goes within alone, it's a loner. Usually going within to find the light. But let's just see. What can you tell us about the depths in the DR? What's going on there? The hangman. So we could be seeing things from a different perspective. There may be more to this than meets the eye. Or there may be more than this than the media is showing us. What can you tell us, Spirit, about the deaths in the Dominican Republic? What's going on there? Oops. Two more, two more cards came out. The Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. And the Three of Pentacles, which is about um, coming together to start a new project. I feel like these deaths are not related. What's the outcome of the deaths in the DR? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Thank you so much. The Wheel of Fortune. All right. I know this is weird, you guys, but I feel like this reading has nothing to do with the DR. <laughs> I feel like this reading is all about what I just talked about. So let me just talk about it. Let me break this down for you. I'm going to talk about this because I don't think this has anything to do with the Dominican Republic. I think that Spirit just wants me to talk about the subject we are on. All right, so I was in a prison of my own making. <laughs> I was all up in my head about fear. I went in and I went within. I got centered. I brought in the light. I dealt with my inner demons. I felt the feelings. I purged them. I healed them. And I saw things from a different perspective, a higher perspective, which helped me to Wish fulfillment, nine of cups. My cups are full. My cups are full. <laughs> I know that I have to work with other people. I can't do this alone. Three of pentacles. I can't do this alone. I had to reach out for help. I'm still reaching out for help. I'm meeting with a sponsor. And the wheel of fortune. This is um, destiny. This was a test. This was... Um, a test of my faith because I am going to be shining my light and doing bigger things um, and it's a completion it's a completion um, I was forced to look at some things that I had really swept under the rug and even though I've been sober for almost five years there was things that I had not dealt with um, this is this was divinely orchestrated for me, and I was supposed to share it with you. And I'm getting the... <laughs> um, Spirit doesn't want me to read on the DR right now. I've got that um, clear as day. So that might not be... This might not be the video for you because you're probably looking for more insight into things, but... Um, Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm so grateful for you, for this channel, for all of you who comment, for all of you who are putting July 16th on your calendar for a day of prayer for world peace, maybe planning parties and get-togethers. I'm grateful for that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, perhaps in the next couple days I'll read on the Dominican Republic. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Um, I just do what they tell me to do. All right, guys, thank you so much. Namaste. Have a great day. Take care.